Hi. In this video, we will look at the term DevOps. What is DevOps? What does it mean? And why it is gaining so much popularity in the software development world? The term DevOps is the combination of two abbreviations. Dev which stands for development. And Ops which stands for operations. Just a few years back, development and operations were considered two different tasks. And normally different teams were responsible for performing these tasks. The development team was responsible for developing new features, changing existing features, fixing bugs, and testing. On the other hand operation team was responsible for the deployment and maintenance of software. It should make sure that the software should remain stable. So before DevOps most of these tasks were performed manually, with little or no automation and no standards were followed. One can also see that development and operation teams had conflicting goals. The development team was responsible for the faster delivery of new features, changes, and fixes, while the operation team was responsible for the stability of the software. This all resulted in a lot of conflicts and at the end resulted in longer deployment and delivery time. DevOps is the process of automating and streamlining different phases of software development. There can be only one interdisciplinary team whose team members collaborate to achieve the same goal of developing better software faster. With the help of standardizing and automating different phases of software development, one can reduce the development, delivery, and deployment time of software. DevOps defines three processes, also called pipelines. These are continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. When these processes or pipelines are implemented correctly, they can really improve and enhance the software development process and reduce time to production. Let us look at these processes or pipelines in detail. Continuous integration is the process of automating the build task. As soon as new features are checked in or there is a change or fix, a build is created automatically. As you can see automated testing is an integral part of this process or pipeline. These include automating unit and integration tests. If we extend the pipeline and include acceptance tests and deployment on the stating and the production environment, then this pipeline is called continuous delivery and continuous deployment. There are many tools that can be used to implement different processes and pipelines in DevOps. In the left diagram, you can see some of the most famous tools that can be used for continuous integration, continuous delivery, and continuous deployment. One can select from a variety of tools. There is even a periodic table of DevOps tools. I have included the link to this periodic table in the description. So the main goal of DevOps is to reduce time to market and deliver quality software to end users faster. It has been proven that with DevOps, new features, changes, and fixes in software can be delivered to end users several times a day. I hope you like this video, please subscribe to our channel so you can be notified about new videos on learning software development.